Okay, we are studying game theory, chapter 24. We are going to talk about dominant strategies uh, right now. So, okay, first thing. We have at least, you have to have at least two players in the game. In this instance, we have uh, two owners of two different uh, nightclubs. Owner one, owner two. Owner one has an incredible location downtown in the city. Owner two is more in the sticks. Uh, they both have uh, about the same amount of floor space. Uh, they have about the same advertising, but that location, location, location is important. Now to set up a game, you need to have at least two players and those players need to have at least two actions or strategies to choose from. Uh, another thing about game theory is there is no discussion between the two as to who's going to do what. Uh, the players in that game just do what they think is best based on the information that they have uh, without collusion or talking to each other. So we have uh, here a game matrix and you can see owner one, owner two. Owner one is in red for ease of following. Owner two is in blue to make that easy to follow as well. What we're comparing is the kind of music that those two nightclubs are going to play on a Friday night. Uh, now you'll see that uh, there's either salsa or disco. Those are the options. And uh, by owner one, we have uh, on top salsa, below disco. And out from there, you will see an 80, a comma, and then a zero in that top left quadrant. Player one's numbers will always be first. Player one will always be to the left of the matrix. Player two will always be on top of the matrix and they will always have the second number. Uh, so in that first quadrant, we have an 80 and a zero. 80 is owner one's number, zero is owner two's number. That's what will happen if they each play salsa music. Uh, now, I've mentioned that uh, owner one is downtown in a city, whereas owner two is more out in the sticks. So if you're going to have an option uh, of either staying downtown where it's close or going out into the uh, country, you're probably gonna wanna stay in the city. If they're both playing the same music, the only difference is the drive time. Just go with salsa. Uh, go with owner one who is downtown. Uh, so that would be an easy choice. And we're going to go through each of these quadrants uh, to find out what the best options would be so we can make optimum choices. Okay, we are going to look at owner one first. It's just easier. It's the first number, it's the first player. We're going to take out uh, the possibility of owner two playing any disco music. We're just going to see what our best chances are if owner two plays salsa music. So owner two is playing salsa, we're going to decide as owner one, if salsa or disco music would be better. Well, if we play salsa music and owner two plays salsa music, then we're going to make $80,000. If owner two plays salsa music and we play disco music, we're only going to make $40,000. So which option of those two is better? That's very relevant. We're going to make twice as much if we play salsa music, no matter what anybody else does. So we are going to choose the better option. 80 has uh, 80,000 has higher utility than does 40,000. So we're going to go with that option. Now we're going to look at what will happen if owner two plays disco music. If owner two plays disco music and we play salsa music, we will make $60,000, not as much, uh, as we would have uh, if owner two had played uh, salsa music as well. But 60,000 isn't bad. Now, if we played uh, disco music and owner two played disco music, again, we're both playing the same music, we would make $40,000. Well, if owner two plays disco music, we definitely want to choose which one? Yeah, salsa music. What we have then is a dominant strategy. No matter what owner two does, we're going to be better off playing salsa music. 
Uh, 80 is greater than 40,000. 60,000 is greater than 40,000. So we're definitely going to play salsa music. No matter what owner two does, we are better off just sticking with salsa. We have a dominant strategy. Okay, let's look at owner two. We have to set this up a little bit differently, or rather look at different numbers. Uh, we're looking at the second numbers in quadrants now. We're going to cover up what owner one makes because we don't care. We're only worried about ourselves. If owner one plays salsa music and we play salsa music, we will make absolutely no money. People will stay in town and go to owner one's place. We don't want that. If we play disco music and owner one plays salsa music, we'll make $40,000. So the, the difference is um, $40,000, really. So in this regard, really no question, we are going to play disco music if owner one plays salsa music. Now, what if owner one plays disco music? Well, let's see. If they play disco music, then and we play salsa music, we'll make $60,000. Apparently salsa music is uh, a lot better than disco music. I know some of you will argue and that's fine. But if owner one plays disco music and we play salsa music, we will make $60,000. If owner one plays disco music and we play disco music, we make nothing. Uh, people are just going to go to that closer location. So as owner two, we have to not only think about where our money comes from, but also the likelihood of owner one and what they're going to choose. Uh, but. If owner one plays disco music, we are going to be far better off if we play salsa music. That much we know. Do we have a dominant strategy? No, we have no dominant strategy at all. We are reliant on owner one. Uh, if they play uh, disco music, we'll play salsa. If they play salsa, we will play disco. Whatever they choose, we're going to choose the other alternative because they have a dominant strategy and we do not. We're going to do the best we can. So I said before that we both have to make those choices at the same time. We can't wait until Friday night and find out what the other owner is uh, playing. We need to have our advertising out before that. But we also know based on game theory that owner one is going to play salsa music. That's their dominant uh, strategy. They're going to play salsa because they'll make the mon most money that way. So they play salsa, we will in turn play disco music so we make a little bit of money. 40,000 is way better than zero. So we're going to assume they'll play their salsa, we'll play our disco, and we will arrive at the best outcome. That's all there is to a dominant strategy. You just find out uh, dominant strategy is what a player will do no matter what anyone else is doing. In this case, owner one had a dominant strategy, owner two did not, but owner two was able to take advantage of owner one's dominant strategy and make changes. So they would still, uh, so owner two would still make some money. If you have any questions, you can get in touch with me uh, on Twitter at FSU, F-R-A-Z-E-R, or send me an email at, uh, wow, jfraser at fairmontstate.edu, uh, or you can just get in touch with me through MS Teams. I have that up most of the time now as well, or uh, any other method you can come up with, really. Uh, so stay healthy, and you will be hearing from me soon. Thank you so much.